Hi everyone and welcome for this tutorial how to paint a uh, Spira freehand. For that I'm going to use the Shark Lila, the white from Procolor and the black from Game Workshop. I use the white because it's very covering from Procolor and the Abaddon black from Game Workshop because it's very not covering so it will be pretty helpful for this tutorial. Don't hesitate to ask if you have any, you have any question in the comment directly, I will answer to you. And uh, don't hesitate to like and share to your friend, that's always a good thing uh, for me to, be, uh, to have a better audience. Important things to know about freehand is about you are going to make mistake, but it's really not a problem because as you are going to see, the next step will be to um, to fix this uh, this problem. So the first is I use white and uh, shock lilac uh, to start making uh, my spiral, and uh, with that spiral, I'm going to uh, try to always have a very thin line the more I can and after I will come back directly as you can see with shock lila just to make it more and more thin if I can uh, remember that more you are going to make freehand more you are going to be easy to make freehand a uh, lot of time I use the side of my brush, but this time I really use uh, the end of my brush. It's pretty important to have a very, very nice result. And I dilute a lot my paint just to be sure when I put my brush, the paint is going to go on the miniatures. Sometimes if you have a, a not uh, enough diluted color, uh, you have to come back again and again to put this color and we need to be sure this color is going to be easily on the surfaces. So now I come back with my black from Abaddon Black. I'm going to, to show you on my finger. It's very, very diluted. And I just put this on a very, very few parts just to create a more deep effect. I come back again with white with uh, a mix between white and shock lilac. And this time I put more white just to push again more and more uh, contrast into uh, this spirit. This kind of freehand is perfect to start because it's a very easy way. And now I come back with shock lilac just to create a better transition and always with a paint very very dilute. Here is the result. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you want, come and become a patron of me on Patreon. Uh, so you can have access on different tutorials in preview and a group so you can show me your stuff and I will make you some feedback. Thanks again for watching and happy painting!